Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's up Maxim again and we have got another event that I haven't covered yet which is called the Hero's Return. So this is actually one of the first events that you're going to encounter in this game because uh, you can actually see this in the first month as well. So unlike a lot of the other, uh, other uh, events, you can get this on your first week, you can get this on your like first second week of the game. Anyway, so how this works. So you have got these three... Uh, three grids here where you can choose the rewards that you want so if you're going to be playing navy you're going to choose uh, simon shards probably or maybe at this point um, there's gonna be a rare skill treasure chest so that's actually what i'm gonna go with and um, here you usually want to take uh, the standard record vouchers or maybe during the living you could also use the tech item choices but you know like uh, standard record vouchers uh, i would say for most of the people because you can also get you know like books from them and so on or some, orange, uh, or some purple heroes, and here you choose what you want from the orange uh, grid. So from the orange grid, you can actually choose the hero that you want. So uh, in my case, it's going to be Nimitz on this account. And uh, uh, although it is actually quite interesting that you could also pick uh, exclusive skills, exclusive skills. So for instance, I could actually take an exclusive skill for Katyusha. So once I do have my Nimitz on 5 star, which is going to be fairly soon, I will then start picking uh, Katyusha exclusive skills probably. But yeah, anyway, so that's what you are seeing on the right. That's, you know, uh, yeah. And then you just, you get a free draw uh, once a day. So you basically get 7 free draws. And then you can draw more for 55 gems uh, each or for 500 for 10. So you obviously want to draw 500 for 10. And uh, I'm gonna do this just for the video again, even though I normally probably wouldn't do it much, and I'll tell you why. And uh, or I'm, I'm just gonna do a few more by one, okay? So, as you are gonna be able to see on the left, on the spreadsheet, you should get one orange hit every 6.5 or 6.45 uh, uh, times that you roll, because you actually have got these uh, drop rates for hitting uh, each of the grids here in like the randomizing and basically what this mean is that you should get uh, per every 10 draws you should get uh, one uh, roughly one and a half uh, orange shards basically and you know like roughly roughly half purple and roughly 1 1.2 blue and after you if you do it 50 times though it is going to upgrade blue tile is gonna get replaced by the purple tile so basically you are going to have two purple tiles uh, each with their own uh, chance one is going to have a five percent chance and the other is going to have a 12 percent chance so you know for a total percent chance of 17. so that's gonna be between 51 and 300 runs if you do uh, run this 300 times it is going to turn the original purple one into the uh, into a second orange one so basically that means that you will have a 20.5 percent chance to hit orange grid instead of having like 15.5 and you are going to be left with the originally blue grid uh, turned into a purple grid which is going to have 12 percent and under this you have got the you have got the values for uh, like basically per how many uh, rolls draws do you hit uh, one orange one and one purple and so on the reason why i counted it like this is that I, you sort of need this number to multiply it by the price of the draws and then you're gonna see how much uh, what the value is per each orange shard so it's actually uh, in the first uh, in the first 209 uh, the first 300 rolls it's 322 and I can tell you that is very horrible actually because I while I have not completely finished it and had, didn't have it looked over I got uh, I made the calculations for super invention and it looks like it looks to be somewhere between 200 and 250 even though I do not like super invention it is still better for hero shards than heroes return which is sadly not what someone told me when I was starting the game and I actually did spend a lot of gems on heroes return myself However, you also have to count that you have you get, do get some extra elite hero shards, uh, sorry, vouchers and some extra premium recruit vouchers 
basically the recruit watchers are worth like 6% of 75 gems, the light hero watchers are, are worth like 4 gems, so you could also calculate it a little bit differently, you could calculate the gem value of every single of these things that can drop, you know, and yeah, like if you do that, that's also a possibility. You could count it that basically it would it would in the end be worth a little bit more than 50 maybe per each draw, who knows. But yeah, uh, so yeah, this is actually how this event works and this is its value. It's not very great for the orange shards. However, I'm gonna repeat one thing that you can actually use it to get uh, exclusive skills if you need them. If you decided that for you that for instance for you it's better to, that you are that you are gonna be using a Bellevue or you are using a Bellevue, you can use this as probably the easiest and fastest way to level her exclusive skill. Same thing goes with Nimitz if you wanted to use Nimitz's exclusive skill. Although for instance on my level, on like level three and level four, it's not worth it. It might be worth it from level five to level six. I I will have to test that on my second account and stuff like that. We are gonna see. And yeah, uh, basically we are gonna see. And here on uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go keep going for Nimitz here. But yeah, it could be actually be worth it to go for Katusha uh, exclusive skills, for example, because you know uh, they are completely overpowered. <laughs> Katusha's exclusive skill is completely overpowered, and yeah, but she does work even without it on high level. So you know. Like, you don't need to have it that high level. Anyway, I think this video is actually already, again, like, way longer than it needs to be. So, thank you all for watching. And, uh, you know, uh, please subscribe <laughs> if you like my videos. And good luck and have fun and have a wonderful day.